Let's talk about rhinos today. There are five subspecies of rhinos today, all of which are endangered. Subspecies is a rank below a species. To use an analogy, we can think of a car as a species, different models of the same car brand, such as a Toyota Corolla or Toyota Rush or a Toyota Land Cruiser are like a subspecies of the Toyota. They share some similarities, but each model has unique features that distinguish it from others. Same, same, but different. We are same, same. Same, same, but different, but still same. <laughs> In Kenya, we have two of the subspecies, the black rhino and the white rhino. And according to the wildlife census that happened in Kenya back in 2021, we have a population of 897 black rhinos, which are critically endangered, and 842 white rhinos, the southern white rhino and the northern white rhino. So today we are going to talk a little more about the northern white rhino subspecies. At present, only two northern white rhinos remain, not only in Kenya, but on Earth, Najin and Fatu, the last two surviving northern white rhinos in the world. They are both female and are the last living members of the subspecies, a mother and her daughter, Najin being the mother and Fatu being her daughter. They are currently living in Alpajeta Conservancy in Nanyuki, where they are under constant protection from poaching and other threats. I have been to Alpajeta Conservancy twice in my life, in 2016 and in 2020. And let me first tell you about my 2020 visit. I was there in August of 2020 at the height of the pandemic, I was invited to film a team of international scientists who are working on developing assisted reproductive technologies to try and save the northern white rhino from extinction. Three key points to note. One, both Najin and Fatu are unable to reproduce naturally because there are no male northern white rhinos left in the world to mate with. Obviously, since they're the only remaining two individuals in their subspecies. Two, mother to Fatu is 34 years old and she has a hind leg injury that further complicates her ability to breed naturally. Three, Fatu, daughter to Najin, is 23 years old and has some reproductive issues, including uterine cysts, that may make it difficult for her to conceive or carry a pregnancy. Keep those three points in mind. So a team of international scientists is exploring assisted reproductive techniques like the in vitro fertilization, IVF, which is basically using stored sperms from a deceased northern white rhino male to fertilize eggs from Najin and Fatu by using southern white rhino females as surrogate mothers to carry northern white rhino embryos on behalf of the remaining northern whites. Remember, we have a population of 840 southern white rhinos, so and which are really close in terms of genetics to the northern white rhino. So they are the closest subspecies that can be used uh, as a surrogate to carry the pregnancy of a northern white and hopefully have it work and be able to get more northern white rhinos. So I visited Alpajeta in 2020 while a team of scientists and conservationists were performing the third ovum pickup on the only remaining northern white rhinos, Najin and Fatu. Now, an ovum pickup is a technique used in animal reproductive technologies to collect eggs from the ovaries of the female. The procedure involves inserting a needle through the vagina and into the ovaries to retrieve the eggs by using gentle suction to remove the fluid and cells from the follicles that contain the eggs. This is an invasive technique that allows for collection of multiple eggs without the need for surgery. I was able to document this procedure and witnessing the experience was heart-wrenching as we are subjecting these two animals to this process to save their subspecies from extinction that has been brought about by us, humans. 10 eggs were harvested that day. According to Science Daily, as of 2022, there are now a total of 14 northern white rhino embryos, 
which are stored in liquid nitrogen at minus 196 degrees Celsius. In the near future, the embryos will be implanted into southern white rhino surrogates with the aim of creating a healthy northern white rhino calf. This is where we've reached. The eggs of the two remaining female northern white rhinos were fertilized by the sperms of two northern white males before they died. One was called Sunni and he died in 2014 and the other was called Sudan who died in 2018 due to natural causes making him the last male northern white rhino to exist. The frozen sperm samples were the ones used to create the 14 embryos, which will then be inserted into southern white female surrogates to carry the northern white rhino embryos and give birth on behalf of the remaining northern whites. So this brings me to my 2016 visit at Opajeta Conservancy, my first time there. In 2016, the conservation organization Space for Giants held an event in Anyuki called Giants Club Summit. The event brought together heads of state, conservationists and business leaders to discuss strategies for protecting African elephants and their habitats. A day before the event, media, wildlife journalists and filmmakers had been invited to Opajeta to do stories on Sudan. When I heard about this and the summit was in Anyuki, I was there for the summit. I told myself, well, I might as well go there because it's in the same place and I have never seen Sudan and this would be a really good opportunity for me to take a few videos of him and, and maybe do a small story about him which I did on my YouTube channel. So that's how I ended up going and meeting Sudan, the only living northern white male rhino in the world. Currently, Najin and Fatu are the only two remaining northern white rhinos, and there are Sudan's daughter and granddaughter. Essentially, the last northern white rhinos are part of a family. So the last family. Sudan passed away in March of 2018 due to age-related complications Last night, I had a dream of us coming together. Last night, in my dream, I saw unity. I had five years after Sudan's death, Kenya received Sudan's taxidermy from the Czech Republic and it was given to the Nairobi National Museum, which will be on display for the public. The cabinet secretary underscored Kenya's commitment to ensuring that endangered species are protected through the Kenya Wildlife Service. She called on global communities to join Kenya in promoting the wildlife heritage. For us, it's a great honor. Malonza said the taxidermy not only serves as a prize from the Czech Republic government, but also a reminder to the government and partners that supporting the conservation of key species remain the top mandate. It is crazy to think that the northern white rhino was native to the grasslands of central and eastern Africa, primarily in Uganda, Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And now we are witnessing the extinction of a subspecies in real time. It sucks that we this is where we've got, uh, but hopefully we can reverse what we've done and save this species from extinction. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like it if you like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Why can't we achieve a sustainable peace? Why can't we